welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. How has your Christmas been? What have you been doing? Shopping done? Prep the beads? Buy the gifts? Decorate the house? Decorate the gifts? We have everything set. I'm so excited about Christmas. Different for this year, but we're gonna be celebrating nonetheless. Normally, you know, for the past few Christmas Eve, Lower sea, you feel, but this year because we're here in Jamaica and I'm excited to see what it's gonna bring. Now, in today's video, I'm just gonna be talking to you guys, so it's like a reminiscing thing, just on what Christmas is like for me as a child. Now that I'm older and I know I have the responsibility of making Christmas for myself, you know, what is it? <laughs> what is it that I need? No. Know? As an adult, in my own home, that you know, were things that were not done for me as a child. That why I come to celebrate, why it is that Christmas is so important to me and to my family. So that's what we're going to talk about today. So don't you go anywhere. Listen. As a matter of fact, go get something to eat as you sit and listen and be yes, entertained by whatever it is that I have to say. See you in a moment. Yes. So Christmas as a child, growing up in Jamaica. Watching movies, seeing snow, seeing what other people did. Let's talk about that. So, when I was younger, I always started here, right? And some of the things I can recall was going to the circus. I remember my grandma doing pot roast tea. I remember, I don't know, like all my Jamaican people, you would know about this. You know how your grandparents and your family, they have some, like a set of utensils, kitchen utensils, that don't get used until Christmas. So they pack up in the cabinet or a buffet or whatever you call it, then pack up and whatnot. Now on the bottom of my Christmas and people take out all of them, wash them, clean them up because they, they, really, they, they were like the priceless things. So they only use them at Christmas time. Now my grandparents they had a whole variety of that. Right? So we would have to go in and get them, clean them up and prepare it, dish and everything, and they would roll up. Now, so at the time it would have been me, my grandma, my cousin. Okay. I'm an aunt too. So no. Yeah, I remember that happening. So I remember like my grandma would get home and she would prepare stuff. So I don't I don't remember I was a pre preparing child, you know, we would gain attention. I just remember the Christmas day, food about the table. And we would just eat and so we never had like big family gathering where everybody would come and sit down and come out, we never had that. We just when we did our cook and we finished to share it and we eat it. In the night I'd probably, if I was by my mother, so I'd go up from my mother lives in close proximity. So I'd go where my mother is, and I can remember she would always take us to the circus. My brother and my sister would always be circus, which was at the mall. You know, guys, I was fascinated. But the circus come and not elephants, they not lions, they not all kind of, like, I don't remember if they had bears, they had really cool animals that would know how to make us, so this is man. When I'm supposed to step up there, that circus, right? If I put one mouth, all those who know what the circus, raise your hand. Yes, you go out there and you get to light up things for your head and you get to cut, cut the candy and you paint your face sometimes. Very nice things with the circus. I was always really, really very excited about circus time because I knew it was going to happen. And I can vaguely remember, like, this is like minor decorations, nothing really grand or great that happened at home. And not, so the circus was a big event this time for me as a child. I was certain that if I'm not going to do anything else, I'm going to be going to the circus that I really look forward to. So there was the circus, there was the cooking. So this is really, this is child, child, it's a very good thing. It's zero to, I think 12, 13 years old, what I give it. I don't know my teenage years yet. So we would do that with the circus, you know, and, and have fun. I also remember, like when I was going my mother, the kids would come out and we'd say starlight and clappers, they don't know what they to go. And they would say, to this day, we prefer to hold clappers. We're not holding clappers. Like, we're light and we're not holding them and we're keeping them in the hand. The boys would do that. What they would also do is, they put the clappers in the fence. And the zinc fence, like, the zinc fence, all that's what we would do. So they would put the clappers in the fence and it would burst, and it burst, it burst, and roll, and it's big, so. And it was just a big fun thing for us, and the starlight, you may like to hang it, and get starlight, and till it burn out. So I remember those things, and I used to do that too, back at my mom's house, with the other kids in the community when they would come out, and oh my god, it would be so much fun. 
and we'll be playing a lot of hide and seek to you guys close times so let's move it out so you know you get to enjoy your friends and company and everything so i remember those things what does that mean about christmas of the shower i mean i got gifts there are a lot of gifts but i got gifts so i remember to my aunt my aunt all my books yeah nice with like cinderella books and snow white books and panda all them books i used to have a lot of books to read and so for me it was christmas it wasn't what everybody else had but i enjoyed it because i still have those memories and they were precious because my granddad would have been around at the time just in peace pop up so those things i remember from being a child so christmas for me as a child right yes now we move on to teenagers you know when you start mature right you like you're grown and i have i had some friends and there was four of us that always walk they call us the fantastic people so they know if they're watching if they're watching they know themselves so we would always want to dress our night and we would go downtown down for kids and we buy our stuff because i'm a bunch of places i want to put on the kids and come nice and clean so we would do that and i remember too as a teenager like production at church was a big I would, I would always be writing things at church and I'd always be able to like, put what they, what they call producers so together and we have this grand grand thing that was stuff. Yes, we have we would have these grand productions at Christmas time and I remember we have candlelight and we'd always say there is a candle in every sun some brown and burning some dark and to carry you, your candle. Y'all know that song. Carol walk over the candle and all these things and Christmas nights and kids. So I remember doing that. I also remember that as a teenager, me and my friends, what would we do? And I don't know why my body didn't react the same way, you know. We would go to several different homes for dinner. You know, because persons would invite us. So Miss Alton's big of yourself would always go around there for dinner. You know, and let me tell you guys, it was like buffalo style, you have chicken, you have fish, you have pork, you have aunt, you have curry chicken, you have, no sorry, curry goat, you have vegetable, you have put the salad, you have sorry, you have wine. This is after me eating my dinner, my, I don't know, my pot was eating by my chicken, I don't know, rice and By the way guys, bunga rice and peas is a staple at Christmas time in Jamaica. Big things, like, what about bread and peas? What about bread, bread, bread peas and what? What's bread king we need? Bunga peas. You know, more views, yeah, be of yourself. So, we would always go there. Sometimes we go by um, a lady from church to Sharon. We go by one of my friends' house to her grandmother. Grandmother would be cooking up a storm. Yes. So, we'd stay the night there. We would just talk and play games and live as friends. And I truly enjoyed those moments. To be honest, sometimes I miss them because it was just such fun. You know, and about all the responsibilities, life was excellent. All you young people out there, enjoy your time for the table because when I don't like kicking, mama, my son, <laughs> yes, so teenage Christmas, yes. So if I'm to look back and, and, I'm, and say, all right, what were my most fun moments, definitely was the cup. Yes, guys, so I just want to quickly say that my necklace. It's from Shop the Look JA on Instagram. Go and check out their page. Also, my piece is from Shop the Look JA. Go and check out their page. She has some really nice stuff. And for all you ladies who are like me, plus size and have a little bit more weight, she has some amazing pieces, some amazing wear. You can go there and she will hook you up. Shop the Look JA on Instagram. Make sure you check them out. So, my most memorable moments from my Christmas as a child is would definitely have to be going to the circus um eating nice good dinner lots of lots of food and just spending time with my friends and eating with my family and not so fun memories but i had to do that was taking out the crackery just wash them but put them back and if you ever broke one if you ever broke your granny um pirate you should have put up all your views because it was here zal and me and your supper hello if you know if your grandmother or your mother or your parents had the whatnots and then leave have the crackle on the bottom, leave a comment. Talk about your experience because I want to hear about what you had to do as a child at Christmas. And not to mention the whole eat cleaning. Almost forget that. You have to be cleaning, preparing, 
oh my god, one of the things my granddad used to have me do. And I thank him for those moments because you know I cherish those moments that we had. I always had to be plucking the bungle piece. Yes, so as I said, my granddad used to um, have me two things. Have me help him to shell, shell, all the piece, shell the bungle piece. And the worms would come up and not like different at all. I'm afraid no one doesn't like it. It's kind of gross. I like worms crawling over my fingers. So I remember those things. Do I remember anything else when I was a child? Christmas time? Oh, the ice cream, man. Always come around and you're sure I ice cream. Even I'm sure I ice cream. No other time of the year, Christmas time. What are we ice cream? Yes, what else should I have a little up? So that's Christmas as a child. No, Christmas as an adult. Christmas, not even just as a not as an adult, because before I got married, I would still just be saying things I do as a teenager. All my friends then would gather, go to one house, eat, 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 two o'clock, wait a little go to the house, eat, 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 two o'clock, and I would just eat, 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 and a fun boy. But now that I'm older, I'm not older, but I'm older, but now that I'm in a different level of my life and I'm unmarried, I want to share with you what that has to be. So I remember the first year that we got married, we decided that we wanted to travel for Christmas. Guys, let me tell you something. After watching Home Alone and Home Alone 1, 2, watching The Grinch, all these nice Christmas movies, I was obsessed with seeing snow. I knew that, listen, I was not going to go back to Jesus into heaven and not experience snow. So we decided we're gonna go to Canada. And you know, so once you decide to go to Canada, you sure to get snow. So, that year, my husband and I, you know, pack up and all excited and we went to Canada. Now, the first few days we were here, not a jump of snow. The place cold, bad, but no snow. I mean, I said, see, we put much money for my friend, couldn't get no snow. So, we were waiting and waiting. So, what my aunt would do, she would be checking the weather for me because she knew that, listen, I am looking out for this. Checking the weather, checking the weather to say, all right, when snow, I right, get light or whatever. Guys, I remember the day when she said, Tiffany, it falling over to light. Light? She hears me, she said, light are everything, I have to go. So, guys, I was in that, they lived in an, uh, an apartment at the time. I ran outside to look. Guys, not that when she did say, light, you know, that's what she did. You know, that when I ran a drew, I could not see anything. The snow, I had to be looking at the window, the glass, and then it finally dropped. I was like, Snow, but what are you doing? What's the So I was waiting and waiting and waiting. So it must have she said, All right, like on one day going snow heavy. So that night, the night when my life changed, the night when your girl experienced snow, we were gonna go to an all you can restaurant. Guys, Mandarin, I think it's called. A Mandarin, you know? It's Mandarin. And we got dressed. And we went outside. I kid you not. I went back to be five, six, seven, ten years old. I just began to run it and I was touching it and I was feeling it. And I'm like, oh my god, I see it. No. I mean, but if you live with snows all the time, then you really truly kind of understand the joy of experiencing something so unique. You hear about it all the time, you watch it on TV, but you never experience it. Guys, I was going badonkers. We went to the restaurant and then it started to snow even heavier. It was a snowstorm. But that was Jesus. But not some people don't want it, but me is like grateful for the snowstorm. But seven, we were running it, we were playing it. And it was just such a surreal experience. I was so thankful, I was so happy. I felt like if I never had anything else for that time, for that season, for that Christmas, I would have been okay because I had experienced the snow. Now, Another amazing thing about that trip was that we got to go to Niagara Falls. No, that's another landmark in the world that many people want to travel to. And my first time I went to Niagara Falls was my tea guy. It's cold, it's cold. I cannot explain the level of cold that it was. It was so cold. But they had such unique things there. We saw some really big horses, like humongous. And they were white. They had fluffy things that like they put down there. Yes, yeah, so they had some fluffy hair thing on their feet. They looked so different on the horses that um they have here in Jamaica that run on the truck. Yes, all horses are a little different. But these horses were cool. They they had like flashing lights on the Niagara Falls. It was just an amazing moment, and I'm so grateful for those experiences. And this is a, you know, 
it is an experience I would want everybody to have. Trust me, if you can travel to, to like a country or a state that has snow, guys, it is worth the experience. I mean, if they can manage the cold, then I have to respect it and I understand. But if you can, don't wait, don't hesitate to wait. The last Christmas we spent in America and we visited different states. And that too was an, another awesome experience. We spent that Christmas with our friends and we had a lot of house parties, we had a game nights. Those things again, as I thought, my love no flex, my love chicken is like this, it's not fun. And again, one time is good food, call me, I'm coming. We have a lot of good food. So again, I, I had some snow there, not a lot of snow, but we had snow there. But what was special now about last Christmas was one, I finally got to see what's up on the Eiffel Tower now, the Statue of Liberty. We didn't see it close up, but I saw it. And also, I got to visit Times Square. Oh, quick, I'm telling them what a story, hey, what about Times Square, a Times Square, that I have no. But, so we're in Times Square, my husband and I were walking around, and by the way, there were some whole of cool characters on the road. You have Spider-Man, you have the Grinch, you have Batman, you have Joker, persons just dressed up in costume, and they were out there taking pictures, and we cool stuff, things that is again, saw on TV, so I informed a circle, and we them and it whatever and people pay and that was cool we went into a business store we went to the eminent store we went into so many stores so we're there in times square walk oh we saw trump hotel we're there walking around in times square sightseeing picture taking had some good food speeds and boom we noticed that police had like cordoned off an area person said, what's happening what's happening so Sean and I we went over and said, let us look. When we looked, I was up to someone and said, oh, it's a bomb scare. See that bag here, someone left that bag here. No, no, so SWAT team, everybody come in and some of you just think so. We watch TV. We know all this work. We is going the next direction. Because if it more, we is not going to be here. So we take the foot and we walk over. No, no, we're going by the side, but when we decide that we're not going to go out like this, and then we'll post the other here. So we walk, 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 go to some far end until we finally got back to the train station and then we went home. Oh, oh, can I forget? I also met Don McClurkin in the train station. Oh my God, that was an amazing experience because I love Don. I love Don's music. So, again, each Christmas has its own perks. Each Christmas has been special. Each Christmas has been just amazing. So this year, What's even more amazing is that I now have my channel. Guys, can you imagine how cool it would have been if I had my channel all those times? But don't worry, lots more adventures to come, lots of more traveling to come because I like to travel soon with my husband, so to my husband. So we're going to be traveling more as soon as we get some more money and can be safe towards these things. My Christmas is going to be in Jamaica and you're going to get to see what my Christmas day experience is like. I'm going to bring it for you to the good food away at eats and all these things. So, Stay tuned for more amazing moments and I really do hope that you enjoyed this little sit down talk and just me sharing my experience and I thank you for those who have been leaving the comments, for those who have subscribed, oh my god I can't believe it. we're at what 74, that's big for me because I had a, had a goal in my head at Christmas and we're almost there and so let's see if we can actually make it happen. So please 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 guys remember to share this video with your friends, share on your um, social media platforms. Also, remember to like the video, remember to leave a comment, and if you have not subscribed, come, hit it, hit, touch that button, it's that red button down there, just hit that subscribe button, so that you can be a part of this amazing, amazing, amazing community, amazing family here on this channel. If you're hearing some fries in the back, it's for the chicken and get bubble up, because we're about to eat orange chicken. Thank you very much. If you stuck it through till the end, if you watch this video till the very end, thank you, thank you, thank you. And oh, for all those who are going to look upon the Christmas tree, it's just that the editing was wrong. I'm going to edit it myself. Don't ask me, oh, don't ask me. But me put up this. Me put up that. Put up nothing from the tree. And you have no problem. If my husband did, me and his constitution will come on. So we're in the video. So thank you very much guys and like I always say be sure to tell a friend to tell them friends but tell the all of them friends to subscribe to life with Tiffy. Happy Sunday! Did you go to church? How was church? Church is amazing for me. Did I say by the way that my hair is
from something of JA. I got my necklace. It's from something of JA. Yes. My frock come from downtown. Let me tell you. My come from street come from Azan. Let me tell you. Yes, let me tell you. There you go. Later. Most memorable, mo memorable moments from I. <laughs> so my most memorable, mo memorable, 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 memorable.